dirt! So, there's probably some of you watching this going, well, you seem to have strong opinions and you seem to be a bit liberal, which is unusual for blue collar workers because most of them drive around listening to Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity all day, so they're indoctrinated. A lot of independent contractors have their own business, have their own operation. I can get why those guys would lean toward uh, conservatism because they don't want to pay more taxes, they want less regulation. It benefits them in their business. That is great. I have no problem with that. If you have a strong rational reason, and being a business owner is probably one of them, after all, why would I want to have to pay my workers $15 an hour? I pay my Mexicans 10 and that means more money back into the coffers for my business so I can expand and grow and buy a bigger house, etc. So I get it, okay? So why am I feeling the way that I do? And what is my beef against the Republican Party and I will try to sum it up simply when I was young I lived abroad for six years three of those years was in an Asian country where just by being employed there you automatically had health insurance okay I was also pretty irresponsible and crashed my bicycle several times while I lived in this Asian country. So several times I had to go to the doctor to get x-rays and at one time I even had a CAT scan for my in my head because I was having some problems with my hearing and they wanted to see if they could see anything regarding my the bones in my ear. So they gave me a CAT scan. Anyways, I went to the hospital several times and I don't think I paid a penny because it automatically came out of my paycheck every month so I never saw it I never got bills down the road oh, every month here comes another bill Oh, 50 bucks for the poor aspirin they gave me Oh, 50 bucks for the medication they give me up oh, 275 bucks for the doctor they had to bring in to read the uh, results of the CAT scan oh and before you know it you're down some fucking debt hole because that simple operation you had that you were told was necessary is costing you thousands or even many many hundreds out of pocket and most people do not have that kind of money so I am a strong strong supporter of a universal health care just like the rest of the organized world has Europe has it Asia has it Third world countries probably even have it, not all of them, but we're the one country that are so into, nope, we're gonna have private industry run our healthcare and our hospitals, and we're gonna let them decide how much they should charge you. So I could go to hospital A and they'll charge me a thousand bucks, and I could go to hospital B and they'll charge me 300 bucks. I mean, come on. So do I spend all day long shopping around to which hospital I'm gonna go to? If I fall down and break my leg and an ambulance comes and picks me up and takes me to a hospital, they're going to take me to the nearest hospital regardless of what my insurance says. And before I know it, whoa, I get a bill for $1,200 for an ambulance ride. And then this hospital didn't take my insurance, so now they want to charge me another $2,000 to fix my broken leg. I'm on the hook for $3,200, even though I pay $500 a month in health insurance. That is bullshit, people. That is bullshit, okay? Yeah, I'm angry. I'm angry because in a time of COVID where you could be unemployed any minute at any time, now you're on your own and you lose your company health insurance because you've just been laid off. Oh no, wait, what, Cobra? I can go on Cobra? Oh, that sounds great. Wait, how much do you want, $1,200 a month? Geez, I only make about two grand a month. That won't even allow me money left over to pay my freaking mortgage. Oh boy, I guess I better just take my tent out and foreclose on my property and go live under the bridge with 
thousands and thousands of thousands of others in the Portland area. You know, we wonder why we can't get ahead, and we can't get ahead because these industries that we let privatized keep raping us. That's right, I said it, they rape us. So they say, well, you're supposed to negotiate with them. You're supposed to call the hospital up and negotiate. Really? How many Americans call the hospital after they get the bill to negotiate? Well, I'm sure these days more and more and more are because they have no choice. Although we never, I never thought it was something that was negotiable until I heard talking heads on the radio say, you're supposed to call your hospital and negotiate the bill. Give me a break. Is that the kind of healthcare system we want? Give me a freaking break. So there's a shitload of people out there who don't have any health insurance. Some of those people got on so-called the Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare. And some of those people can barely afford to pay that. So they can't buy a house, they can't buy a car, they can't go out to eat because every penny that they got is going to this health insurance. It's no wonder that we got millions of people without it. They're saying, fuck it, I'll go broke, I'll be homeless. Yeah, I'll be insured, but I'll be homeless. Come on, people. Strike you down!